Hi everyone! In this video, we'll be taking a closer look at the stylized tree generation tool for Unreal Engine. To start, import the Houdini digital asset into your project and drop it into your scene. If you are following along, make sure that you have the Houdini Engine plugin installed. I will provide relevant links in the description below. Once the tool has loaded, you will see the generated tree mesh in your level. In order to apply a material to our generated mesh, we need to provide the material's relative path as a string parameter. To do this, select one of the material instances, right-click, and then select Copy Reference. Then paste the copied value into the input field labeled Leaf Material. Next, we can use the same method to apply another material to the tree trunk, but this time paste the string value in the field labeled Wood Material. If you would like to edit the base shape of the model, simply select the tree and adjust its spline component by moving around the spline's control points. In addition, our tool lets you customize the trunk radius, branch number, curvature, and leaf distribution. The custom leaf shader supports runtime virtual texture sampling, so you can easily blend trees with your landscape color. The shader gives us an option to override the landscape color, adjust the gradient and leaf scale, and add a wind effect. We can use preset opacity masks to define leaf patterns, or we can replace them with any other custom masks. The tree trunk shader includes stylized paint maps with triplanar mapping, so you can always get the desired texel density, irrespective of the tree's scale. Additionally, there's an option available to activate height blending, which provides a smoother transition between the tree and the ground. Our digital tool allows users to adjust the resolution of generated models, granting them the flexibility to generate multiple levels of detail. In addition, users can enable Nanite support to use Unreal Engine's virtualized geometry system. Once we are happy with the generated model, we can bake it into a static mesh component by clicking the Bake button in the Details panel. And that's pretty much it. If you'd like to learn more about this tool, you can visit our website at everythingcg.com.